So today I am going to be showing you the needle felting kit that I recently purchased from the always amazing Bab Graves. She only had this up on her big cartel during a flash sale at the beginning of this month, uh, December, and it sold out in I want to say about four minutes. I know a lot of people weren't able to get them. Um, somehow. Somehow I was able to, so yay. So this is just sort of a video um, that I thought I would make to show you what's actually in the kit. And just sort of some things that I found out about it as well. And just to kind of show you um, what, I, what I've made using the kit. I may as well do a, uh, a demonstration as well so that you can see how the uh, needle felting actually works. There are lots and lots of instructional videos out there, so you can go and look at various other needle felting tutorials. Um, I just thought I would add, it, add mine to the list, um, specifically because this is for Mad Greaves. Um, I do have to say that when I opened the box, it did come with an adorable um, little print from Mad Graves, which I made pterodactyl noises over it. And screamed even louder because she sent me an adorable Christmas card. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, look at it. So now I'm going to show you what's included in the actual kit. Um, so this is the box that it came in. As you can see, it's very adorable. It's really, really adorable. So you open it up and you have a lot of this white wool right here, this white um, unspun wool, which is what you do with the majority of your felting with. Um, and then she gave me lots of, a uh, fair amount of blue. And then she gave me a smaller bag with a couple different little mini samplers of colored wool, um, which honestly you don't need to use that much of the colored stuff anyways. So. I mean, unless you want to, I guess it depends on what you're making, really. And it definitely made me wish that I could get more colors, because she only included, like, different shades of green and yellow, and there's also a black in here as well. And I was a little disappointed that there wasn't any of of the Mab Signature Pink in included in here. But that's, like, the only bad thing I have to say about this kit. It, the rest of it is absolutely wonderful. Also, it comes with... Of course, the foam pad, which is what you do all of your felting on, you don't want to just try to felt in your lap. You will bleed. Another thing that is in here is your actual needles. And I'm actually going to show you how to put the needle on the handle because I found it slightly confusing at first. Here is what the actual needle looks like. It's really sharp, <laughs> and it has little grooves on it which catch the unspun wool and knead it down. So basically you just sit there and poke at it, and it mats it and turns it into a more solid thing. Um, so then, this is the actual handle, and it's two parts. You've got the wooden handle, and then you've got this part which comes out, and it has a little groove in there where you stick the needle. And if you can see, there's a little L shape on the bottom. And the way that I'm doing it, so I didn't look it up or anything, I just kind of had to trial and error with this thing, which may or may not be a good idea. Um, but I just sort of took it and slid it in there, like so, and just kind of pushed it in with the little L shape tucked underneath that um, little piece of wood there. And then that holds it in so that you can do all of your needle felting without the needle snipping, slipping out, which you definitely don't want. And that just goes right in there, like that, and you can push it in to make sure that it stays, and voila! After that, um, one more thing in this kit that I want to show you before I actually start demonstrating 
is that it came with little, little adorable tin of just eyes. And there's a couple different shapes and sizes and types here. There's a couple clear ones with a little um, pupil, and there's a couple that are just black, so it really depends. This is what I've made so far. Um, I made this for Christmas, basically, for my mom. Um, it, basically, when I opened it up, I had to start working on it immediately, and there's a couple pictures of the first, um, the beginnings of this project here, and um, it's kind of not very interesting looking, but it was the first thing I ever made needle felting, so I was very proud of it. And then I just sort of elaborated on it and and uh, went about my way creating this. I do have to say about making this when you add the color. Um, really, a little goes a long way. And it's the exact opposite when you're talking about actually building the figure. Honestly, this took about half of the white cotton in the kit just to make this little thing. Of course I am just a beginner so maybe there's like tricks to making your cotton go a lot longer but I don't know them yet so I just have to do some more research and I'm excited to uh, to learn more about this. Okay I'm gonna try and show this to you with it raised up slightly. So the first thing you want to do is take a little bit of your unspun wool and honestly, you want to use a fair amount. So, like, you know, that much might be still too little, but maybe about that much. And then you just set it down and look at it. You can use your hands or the needle itself to kind of to shape the wool, and you can see that already it's starting to sort of mat down into to something there. The only thing that I would warn you about is um, when you are needle felting, the actual felting, like you can get this pretty firm, like it, it'll be pretty firm, you can move it around and it's not going anywhere, you're not going to break it, and I actually found out that you can get it so very firm that you can actually break a needle while you're felting. <laughs> And I ended up breaking two of the needles in this kit because I was poking at this a little, a little bit more enthusiastically than I should have. I mean, but it's a good thing um, because it shows you that you can make your creation as soft or as hard um, a cons uh, consistency as you need them to be. Just be wary of, of that as you're going along. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for the tutorial. I have a new addiction now, thanks a lot. <laughs> um, you'll probably see a lot more um, needle felting creations on my blog and on my Instagram page as well. So if you are interested in following my Instagram and my Tumblr, then you are absolutely welcome to follow me. That's everything I have to say about, about this, and I'm super excited that I was able to have the opportunity to get this and to experiment with this new medium, which I have never done before. I want to thank Mab Graves for the great opportunity that she's given me, and lots of other people. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching. I will probably post another video soon after this one. I have lots of other things. Um, to catch up on so stay tuned and please subscribe if you like this